This is what Tony Blair had to say. Britain must open a new chapter in its relationship with Africa because economic growth in Africa, African countries has triggered a global race for influence and Britain cannot afford to be left behind. In January 2020, two global events happened that signaled a new change in the way Africa is positioning itself and Friends of Africa are positioning Africa. One was from, is from the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Dr. Abe Ahmed. He named a political party, Prosperity Party. Now, dear friends, I do not subscribe to any political party in the world. I support, endorse, and celebrate good governance in Africa. So it doesn't matter. I'm not in, subscribing to any political party. But Ethiopia's Prime Minister named a party Prosperity Party. Another significant event happened recently in January too. That's from the UK, United Kingdom's former Prime Minister, Tony Blair. At the UK and Africa summit in January, Tony Blair announced that Africa was the future. He was very positive about Africa celebrating, you know, the buying power of the, of, of the continent, celebrating the economic achievements in the continent, uh, continent. He mentioned very key indicators of why and how Africa is going to take over the world. It was great news. And he said Britain needed, the UK needed to get on board quickly and move on and start having fair, equal, trade-related relationship with Africa. Now, these two statements from Ethiopia's current prime minister and the UK's former prime minister generated some interesting reaction from the media in the UK who were disputing it. One made fun of the naming of Prosperity Party and saying, oh, a change of mindset would not change things in Ethiopia. I disagree. Decades, decades of ending poverty in Africa has not ended it. We need to raise the bar. The Prime Minister of Ethiopia is making a strong statement. It's not about operating at the minimum. That's not where we need to be. We need to raise the bar to prosperity. We need to put our expectation high. We need to play on the table in the right way. And mindset, it's all about mindset. The developed world is developed because of mindset. They believe that. Africa needs to change its mindset to be developed. Africa needs to change the bar. We need to raise it. And there was a reaction too against the Prime Minister's statement about a positive statement about Africa from the UK's media too. Opinion saying, oh no, we don't think Africa is good. No, we disagree. Who stands to lose <laughs> from a positive reflection, a positive packaging of Africa? Who stands to lose? I would answer. For decades, many have made money, turned a miserable, the projection of a miserable, a dire future for Africa into a business, into a lucrative income generating <laughs> engagement. It's over. Africa has learned its lesson. We know what we want, where we're going, and we're reaching for the top. It's all about prosperity, positivity. So thank you very much, Mr. Tony Blair. And my dear Dr. Abe Ahmed, thank you. The language is changing for Africa. It's all about Afro-positivity. Here we come. One in every four consumers worldwide will be African by 2050. It means for the UK, more trade and investment and less focus on aid. The UK lags behind China, UAE, US, Germany in investment in Africa. Between 2014 and 2018, UK direct investment into Africa was 17 billion. Well below China's 72 billion, France's 34 billion, the US 31 billion, and the UAE 25 billion. It's a beautiful thing Till it breaks Till it tears your world apart Till it ends